animals lived in the past. Paleontologists look for clues preserved in ancient woods, fossilized bones, teeth, eggs, footprints, teeth marks, leaves, and even dung of ancient organisms. Fossilized jaws, and dung provide important clues about what non avian dinosaurs ate. A series of fossilized Until recently, it was believed that feathers were more meat Recent discoveries, however, have unearthed evidence for feathered non avian dinosaurs. Paleontologists have found dinosaurs begin at work by surveying areas to find sedimentary rock from the Mesozoic era. Finding the black spot is Field work is only a small part of what paleontologists do. spend a lot of time classifying specimens, examining their characteristics, and determining their biological relationships. Most theropod dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus, were built up slightly curved backwards, and serrated. The sharp points pierced the meat, and the serrations helped slice it like a Meat eaters didn't chop or grind their food. They swallowed chunks whole. Plant eating dinosaurs were various shapes designed for their particular diets. Triceratops, for example, had hundreds of teeth that formed a set of little sharp points. The teeth were used to chop off vegetation. Other plant eaters, such as ants, were used to grind up tough vegetation. The long necked dinosaurs, such as Dagmaris, had long necks around the teeth. These dinosaurs swallowed the leaves whole. They also invested small stones or gold vegetables, most likely to grind up the food in their stomachs, much the same way modern birds, such as parakeets and chickens, do. From the individual difference, scientists can estimate the height of the dinosaur that they did. A rough estimate of their length is obtained by multiplying the footprint. A footprint can also provide clues about the kind of dinosaur that they did. Sized prints were most likely the work of the four-legged herbivores. Modern birds, or avian dinosaurs, are skeletal features that are almost identical to some dinosaurs. Feathers evolved before flight and may have functioned as insulation to keep dinosaurs in the display as a way to attract mates.